International humanitarian law, or in military circles, the law of armed conflict, represents the binding rules that apply to individuals on the battlefield and sometimes off the battlefield. IHL is important because despite what they say, all's fair in love and war, it's clear that there indeed are rules on the battlefield. And the American Red Cross is tasked with facilitating the implementation of the Geneva Conventions and educating American citizens about the rules of war. Only about 20% of youth indicated that they were somewhat or very familiar with the Geneva Conventions. Only 50% of adults responded in kind. There is a lack of awareness, uh, not only among adults, but certainly among youth as well. This competition is really designed to meet that need to provide students an opportunity to learn more practical skills in the field of international humanitarian law. The Claire Barton competition is really an effort to bring the theoretical practice of international humanitarian law and make it more practical for students. Well, this is the first time that this type of competition has been held in the United States. The Clara Barton competition came to be out of a need to fill a gap in legal education. Law schools have faced a lot of criticism over the last few years. They aren't teaching students practical skills before they enter the workforce. And kind of meeting the demand for more experiential learning, uh, the Clara Barton competition seemed like a natural fit. And the difference of a competition of this type is that you're not arguing about legal principles in the abstract. The two or three days that is Clara Barnes, you learn so much. You're put on the spot, you have to research it right away. It can get very intense. We know they know the material, but we're also interested in, in seeing their advocacy skills as well and how they're able to present the information in a forum. When we got in there and it was this back and forth between the teams with the judges tossing in questions with them pushing your point, it was just really initially really cool. And they're simulations of real life examples and they're very much not just isolated to the courtroom. We take the students from each fact scenario and we ask each team to come and role play and present their arguments on each of these issues. So when we play these certain roles we have to be very creative in leveraging the law uh, to benefit perspectives that we may not necessarily believe. What you got to do with me? That's going to shed a positive light in the international oh, yeah. sphere that we are a party to justifies military attack in cases of... We believe there's not yet enough solid evidence to go ahead and say... If, if a student came to me and asked if he or she should apply the Clara Barton competition, I would say definitely yes. It's a significant event in any law student's academic career. This is the kind of competition that's going to make them not only a better lawyer, but I think a better citizen. I think it's important for students today to learn if they like this kind of pressure, if they manage to use their skills and be good team players as well. And the students are enthusiastic. They're also making some pretty good contacts with people who work in the field, whether in government, civil society, uh, or Red Cross. Well, I think this experience has been tremendous because seldomly do you get to put law into practice and they guys give us every opportunity to express our knowledge of the law and to be able to exercise it in a very realistic but at the same time very practical simulation. It is an awesome experience because I will be applying the things I've learned in this competition to an actual career one day. It's definitely been a great growth experience. There's not a lot of competitions where you get a really short amount of preparation on a problem and you're expected to be an expert when you walk into that room. This has been a great opportunity to meet people and to really expand my knowledge and my friendships. Get in the heart of international humanitarian law. Put your legal knowledge into practice and get to compete, present, advocate, and defend legal positions.